Now, could that have been the possible cause for all this shit that's spraying on my on my on my truck? Because it has been happening a little bit, but I think low power and stuff like that. Well, no, no low power. Really, just somebody told me my been that one. Like maybe that one is loose. That thing right there. That needed tight because it was sprayed, you know, as you can see, I literally just watched this like two two weeks ago when I was on the yeah, road. It's really coming out. Right, right. So somebody told me it could be These that. These fittings go bad. Yeah. yeah there's a little there's a little O-ring on uh -huh. those fittings. Uh -huh. They tighten on and then it tightens up. Okay. And they, they fail all the time. Okay. So we're out here, man. We're out here. He's already here posted. I like that. I like that. So let me go meet this man, yo. Let me go meet this man, damn it. And inform him that your boy is out here. We stay tapped. <laughs> Gotta stay strapped, baby. You're the man, yeah, <laughs> what's up, what's up? You're the man that said to get all my money, huh? How you doing, man? Hey, well, you? I'm doing good, all right. What's going on with it? So I do want you to know I'm plugging the experience. Okay. You, you don't have to be on there or nothing, but. So what happened is, I came here yesterday, I was cleaning the inside, right? Okay. And as, as I turned the shit in, I noticed that my diesel, you know, anyway, like, I'm gonna show you. I better to show you than yeah. just to tell you. So let me go ahead and do that. So I just got the call. So first of all, it was supposed to be like 90 minutes. They called me just five minutes ago saying that the technician is on the way to the truck stop. So now I'm on my way to the truck stop. You know, but I'm like like 30, 40 minutes away, so. I mean, I mean, he got the info on the truck and everything, so let's hope I he handle business. If this fix, then I'ma probably stay home another week. I'm not gonna lie, because I do not like to be on the road in the middle of the pay week, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that. Actually, you know, technically today being Wednesday, which is the end of when we have to turn in all the paperwork for last and then get paid on Friday. So I could leave Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and put in like maybe five days, do it maybe one or two loads within that time. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Anyways, I see y'all over there, man. I will see y'all over there. According to the video, I shot up this situation. It looked like there's something, like a wire or something underneath there, pipe that was leaking. Uh, somebody think might be just the fuel line, but you see what I'm talking about. It don't happen until the truck is on. Okay, and it's over here in this area? It's like right there somewhere, yeah. Oh, okay, I see. And I know this is also having an issue, but I was going to take that to the damn company I got the truck from okay. so they can fix that. But, yeah, go ahead and fire it up and check it out. Yeah, let me go ahead. The weird thing is, it wasn't doing that when I parked, so I don't know. I guess shit like that just happened, huh? Yeah. I don't know where. Let me clean it up and see if it's leaking from the bidding or if it's actually cracked on the line. All right. I just got it clean like two weeks ago, man, but. Hey, 
I'm gonna go park over there and get out the way. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Right, right, right. You too. Yeah, y'all didn't hear how that man addressed me, but he addressed me properly. He addressed me properly, man. So if y'all don't know how to address the king when you see me in real life, it's simple, man. The man, the myth, the legend. I mean, that's pretty much that. The man, the myth, the legend. That's how he address me. If you ain't never called me before my personal line, you won't understand why. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you see, doing the same thing. I'm hoping, I mean, I'll be honest, my pops is the one that told me it sounds like the fuel line. You know, so I'm hoping that's the fuel line. If that's the case, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get ass to replace. Look, if I gotta spend fifteen, I was about to say fifteen thousand dollars. That's a damn lie. I do not want to spend no fifteen thousand dollars. But if I gotta spend like fifteen hundred bucks or something, a hundred dollars, or two grand even to get it all fixed, that I would do. I will have no problem with that. If I have to be honest, let's go ahead and spend two, three thousand dollars right now. Get everything taken care of that way hopefully the next four or five months i ain't got to worry about nothing but as for the as for the major thing that's actually leaking that one i'm gonna take that into freaking uh where i got the truck i'm still refusing to tell y'all that consistently because you know i don't want to give them a form of endorsement or bad mouth there but i'm gonna take them once this is fixed and this truck is running, that's when I'm gonna take it in and I'm gonna make y'all that video. Anyways, let me walk back over there. I had to park out. I came out here to park the truck. I mean, to park my personal car out the way. Of the truck, man. That's where all the trucks are parked over there. So, let's get back. So, I can supervise this man. They call me at 2 32. And that's where I started the clock, baby. <laughs> yeah, so far it really does look like the line itself. Right. It's just weird, man. I'm like, damn. So the one that possibly leaking or messed up, is it also metal or yeah, is it rubber? It's just like this. It's this line right here. Okay. So that comes from here comes down brackets right and hooks up and it comes back into your pump so it could be the bracket then maybe well, it could have been the bracket that caused it okay. you know what i mean but right. no it looks like it's right past the fitting oh okay damn you want something to drink or anything I don't mind, bro. I'll go and get you some soda or something. I'm okay. Thank you, though. cause for all this shit that's spraying on my on my on my truck because it has been happening a little bit but i think low power and stuff like that well no no low power really just somebody told me my have been that one like maybe that one is loose that thing right there that needed tight because it was sprayed you know as you can see i literally just watched this like two two weeks ago when i was on the yeah, road it's really coming out right right so somebody told me it could be these that fittings go bad yeah. yeah there's a little there's a little o-ring on uh -huh. those fittings, uh -huh. they tighten on and then it tightens up. Okay. And they, they fail all the time. Okay. All right. Yeah, because somebody told me that was probably what was wrong with that one. Yeah, that's 90% of the time it's those fittings. All right, let's go ahead and fire it up one more time. Yes, sir.
place to line it will come with four new gaskets. Okay. There's two on each end and those lines. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead. You know, I mean, I don't have that, that line here, so right. I'll have to run the... Yeah, because I was about to, I think they used to can up the doors to go over to like 16 inch. I'll probably end up going to rush. Okay. Take that line with me. Right. Okay. Cheaper. Okay, that's cool. Try to save as much money on everything. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. I know it ain't cheap calling us out. Hell no! Hell no! Yeah. I was like, see, you already made 300 bucks just for, well, not you, but they already made 300 just you showing off smiling at me. Shit. Imagine if you had come here and cussed me up. I'd be like, God, I'm paying this man to come and cuss me. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's not a cheap show, man. Oh, man. Not at all. I mean, I hope they're taking care of y'all, because the reason why I call y'all is because I think you guys got a little contracting with Landstar for inspection and stuff. So I'm like, even though I'll be paying for this out of pocket, but I figure, hey, you know. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely compensated, right? That's good. Well, there you go then. That's definitely And I'm good. flat rate too, so I get paid per job. But that's good. Yeah. Man. It pays out that way. That is really good because it's really weird, right? Because the goal is to expand this and add a, a mechanical side of it, right? Whenever I get my own authority, like the whole business. What I, what you just said was what I was thinking, but instead of, I guess, call it flat line, I was going to pay my mechanics percentage. Have you ever seen somebody that did that? Oh, is that pretty much what the flat rate is? The, it's, that's what flat rate is. Oh, okay. Um, instead of a percentage, you, it's basically the same concept, okay? So everything has an SRT time, a right. standard repair time. Right. Say this job takes two hours. Right. I do it in 35 minutes. Right. I still get paid for that for two, the two hours. Two hours. Oh, okay. But, okay. I mean, of course, not at, you know, 85 versus 35. You right. know what I mean? Right, right. So, right. Okay, I got you. Okay. Yeah, because that's what I was thinking. I was like, I figured that would be more appealing to mechanics if I'd be like, look, every job you do, you get like 35% or whatever it is. If the mechanic knows what he's doing and he has experience, he'll right. flat rate. Okay. That's, that's how you weed out the good and the shitty mechanics. If they're willing to do flat rates, <laughs> they're like, nah, fuck that, give me 25 an hour with Then you know they don't want to work real hard. I got you. I got you. All right. Now while we're here, off uh, off record, will I be able to slide you something to tighten that up for me? I won't it, be able to do it without replacing the fitting. Uh, like I said, the 90% of the times the, the O-ring goes back, That's so it's actually... So uh, usually how much we're looking out for that? The way I would do it, man, uh -huh. I, I mean honestly I, you could do I'm that. not mechanically inclined, man. That's my thing. You are or you're not? I'm not. Oh hell no. I don't know nothing. It's super easy. So just screw it a bit? Yeah, so you'll put some vice grips right here. Okay. So it doesn't leak. Right. You'll take this clamp off, pull this hose up, this comes out. Okay. You'll thread the new one on there and lock it in. Okay. I mean, you can do all that with a crescent wrench. You don't really have to need tools. Okay, okay. And then everything else just screws back in. Okay. So that means I should be able to buy those parts my stuff then? Go to a keyboard? Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, because I think that's what it is. I'm, you know, I just want to stop leaking oil or whatever the heck is leaking out of there. And one thing I also noticed that I probably didn't point out to you is uh, I noticed when it was leaking, that was going down from the original level. Yeah, because okay. you're, you're leaking air. Right, okay. okay.
So even if you did want a soda and stuff, what do you use your drink? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Mountain Dew, brother. Huh? Mountain Dew. All right, I got you. Appreciate you. No problem, man. So was this a trade you pick up as a kid working with grandpa or are you going to exactly, school for this? Actually, uh, okay. that's exactly how I came up doing it. I'm Paul drove, my Paul drove, all his brothers drove, Right. stepdaddy drove. Uh, I wanted extra money, he gave me a grease gun and a fucking pressure washer. Here you go, little There greasing. you go. That's how it should be, bro. That's how it really People should be. People don't learn that way these days. That's how it should be, man. If this brake don't pick up, I might just go to mechanicals. <laughs> hey man, I can get 100 a year. Hey, I believe that, man. I, I believe that. Shit. I believe that. And I probably... I'll probably actually manually labor about two-thirds of it. Right. You know what I mean? There's money in it. I got you. I got you. I, all I know is I need to start learning shit. Uh, all my, most of my most of my money gonna go to y'all. That's all. That's all. That's what I know. That's the way it goes, man. Yeah, it's just one. All right, all right. So so far, so far, you know, he's all right. He ain't the bad guy, you know. So it's uh. That mofo right there, you know, like I predicted or whatever. So he took it out, took out the parts and all that. Now I'm talking to him about this, which is causing all this mess. He said I could technically fix that myself. That's, it's just that right there. Take it, put the clamps on here, blah, blah, blah. I might do that, but as soon as this thing start moving, I'm taking that bitch to aero truck sales, man. So I'm gonna see if they can fix it. Then I'm gonna go talk to the, the people I got the truck from and see what they can do. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody gotta stay with their word. Somebody got to stay with their word. So I think he just said the truck, the part is like a thousand dollars. I hope that's not the case. Parts better not be no than one thousand dollars because uh it's a freaking metal, so there's no way that's a thousand dollars, but it might be. It might be. And you guys also heard me talk to him about, you know, maybe replacing the whole thing. He said, don't do it. Just fix it as you go because that stuff don't happen all the time. He said, just fix it as you go because that stuff don't happen all the time. It's metal. You know, the thing that's leaking is metal. So I'm, I'm, right, so I'm going to chill on that for a second, for a little bit. Let's see what's up. As soon as I can move this truck, man, it's going somewhere. This truck is going somewhere. That's all I'm saying. Ah, uh, yeah, so here's the verdict, right? We got a verdict right now. So right now the verdict is this. The mechanic having to replace the parts. You guys already know what part it is. The one of the fuel lines was leaking. It's metal, blah, blah, blah. It's very rare, yada, 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 okay? So apparently he went to a couple places in Houston to buy the parts. The, the only place that have it will have it there tomorrow at around 11 o'clock so i'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow 11 o'clock so instead of coming back i told him to just come tomorrow so that's that little mechanic boy i don't know what it is right there so i got that in my truck the hood is still up i'm waiting for old boy to finish backing in before i get out um yeah that's it so y'all get a better view right there that's not mechanic, but if you don't pick this up tomorrow, I'm keeping it. So, 
So I'm getting a brand new one replaced tomorrow. You know? And then he said I can fix this bearing right there. That's, it's pretty much over there. He said it's just the seal. It's the seal or whatever that came undo. So I'm going to press this hood. It's not closing, obviously I'm closing it on something, so I think I know what it is. Okay, maybe not. Anyway, these guys right here, I thought were gonna be a problem. I'm gonna put them right there. And that, my friend, is where it's at. Like it's been very resistant, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know what it's landing on, but it seems like it's on something. Like I don't just want to close it on something and then end up breaking that too. So I'm gonna have to replace it. So right here there's nothing there on that one. What's the issue, yo? What's the issue? What's the issue? There's nothing here, there's nothing there. Nothing. Nothing. So what the heck? Alright, let's let's try this again. Close enough, man. That, that, that's the best we're getting out of this one. That's the best we're getting. And where's your two? So day one, they didn't fix it. Now, what I'm really interested in knowing is if they're going to charge me all the extended time. Because if they do, somebody, <laughs> somebody, it's gonna have a really rough day and it's not gonna be me let me see that i gotta straighten out the wheel you know what i ain't straighten out no wheel i ain't doing nothing never mind i was gonna straighten out the wheel because it's crooked but my fuel line is off it's not there i don't have a fuel line i'm, I'm pretty sure it can start but why why do that to myself like why take a chance of messing up my truck so no thank you All right, yes, so that's it, man. I guess to be continued tomorrow, I'm gonna get a phone call, and then once I get a phone call tomorrow, that's gonna be it. Stay blessed, y'all.